Hey everyone, Prep and Paul here. You'll notice I have my project spectacles on today. That's because today I'm building a project. It's from alicorn.com and it's the Morse code and telegraph DIY kit for ages 10 plus. Let's see if I, in my mid fifties, can accomplish and build said kit. Spoiler alert, I can. Here's the finished product. But let's go back to the beginning, back to the workbench. Okay, instead of watching me build from start to finish and spoil the whole experience for you, I'm taking the pre-built kits that I made and I'm going to just point out step by step, start to finish, how you're going to put it together. Hopefully by looking at this as I explain it, it'll be a little easier to understand how to put it together rather than looking at the uh, instructions that came with the kit. The kit does come in a box and some good instructions even has the Morse code alphabet here to help help you learn and practice. Back has the instructions, but the instructions only really show the first board. So I'm going to go through both boards. So first of all, you've got a, a transmitter and a receiver. The receiver you'll see is a rectangular board, and the transmitter is a an odd shaped board. Now you got to know that because on on the boards you'll notice that the holes in the board are different. You'll notice here there's four of those four holes that are rectangular. Well, that's going to be the receiver board. So just remember that and let's set the receiver parts aside for now. What you're going to do is you're going to start with the transmitter board and you're going to screw in with two of these little screws. Now you'll notice there are three sizes of screws. You're going to screw in the battery holder into the board, one on each end. Okay. The next, we're going to screw in the wire connector with a single medium sized screw. And that's where we're going to connect the wires. Next, we're going to connect the transmitter board to the two holes that aren't quite lined up. They're a little bit uh, skew of each other. And once those are screwed in, all that's left is to take the red, push the white piece down, slide it into the slot here. The red from the battery, push the white piece down and slide it into the slot there. And the same with the black. Now we've got the power supply going to the transmitter board. Finally, you're going to take one of the small screws and you're going to put the antenna in along with the antenna wire and screw that into the final section. The very last part of this is just taking these two round uh, buttons and just pressing them really hard onto the two black round button holders. And these will be your keying buttons for when you want to send uh, Morse code. That's the whole thing. You can put the batteries in now and just leave this lever up because what that lever does is uh, when you're not using it, lift it up and then it's not draining the batteries. And when you want to use it, you push that lever down and we got power flow to the transmitter. All right, guys, the transmitter's done. That was the easy part. Let's move to the receiver. The receiver, you're going to start the same with the battery box. You're going to take two of the small screws, top and bottom, line up the holes with the holes in the wood, and screw that in. That's going to have the two power cables. You're going to do the same thing here. You're going to put in a wire connector with one medium-sized screw. And then you're going to put the rectangular receiver board in those four holes in the wood. Now, that's going to be using these small screws. So just remember, don't screw it in all the way. It's best to hold down the middle and screw in each screw about the same because these screws honestly are just a little bit too short in my opinion and uh, the, the holes don't quite or the uh, screws don't quite hold as tight as I'd like. They're in there now because I had to adjust it but just know don't tighten one down really tight and then expect the others to fit. They've all kind of got to go down together for them to all grab into the wood. So once you've got that in you're going to do just like you did on the first board. You're going to run the red and the black into the wire connectors, just push the side down, slide it into the slot, and the same with the battery wires. From there, you're gonna do the same thing you did on the previous board. You're gonna take the white antenna wire, a small screw, and the antenna, and you're gonna screw that into the little hole at the top there. Finally, now this gets a little tricky. We're gonna take this connector board, and it's just sitting on there. It's not screwed in, so it's kind of loose even after I'm done. 
This is a buzzer speaker, and these green and uh, red things are the LED lights. Now, what you've got to do is run the green wire to the bottom and the yellow wire to the top so that it creates this beautiful looking heart shape. I don't think that was the intention, but it worked out that way. Next, you're going to take the buzzer and on the buzzer, it's going to have a long pin and a short pin. The long pin, you can see at the top, is positive. There's a little plus sign right there. That's the long pin side. You're just gonna unscrew these two screws so that the pins can slide in. That pretty much holds itself there. There comes the tricky part. Now you've got to slide the red LED, long pin in the top, short pin in the bottom. The green LED is short pin in the top, long pin in bottom. And then you've also got to make sure these are in as well. So it gets a little tricky trying to hold all, all that in there and screwing it down tight. But I finally was able to accomplish it. Once you get that down, you've completed your Morse code and telegraph kit. So what it basically does is this transmits your button pushes through the antennas into this receiver kit, which will then illuminate an LED and or make a sound. So let's give it a test. We've pushed the metal down so it makes contact with the battery. Now we got battery power. We pushed this metal one down. Now we've got battery connection and power. So now when I push these buttons, I should get an audible tone and a light or just a light. One is for sound and one is for light. So let's see which one is which. Okay, so the left one is the sound and lights up the red light. And the right one should just light up the green with no sound. There we go. So if you want to be stealth mode and be quiet, you can send a code to somebody and they can see it and nobody around can hear it. Or if you want to just make noise, there you go. So then you can take this little Morse code sheet and you can practice learning with either the light or the sound and light. So let's do my call sign. That's my call sign. So that's the kit. It's fairly straightforward. I think the most difficult part is this little part over here. So if you are a 10 year old, you might want a parent or a friend's help to kind of hold some of those pieces in while you screw those two screws down and make a good connection. All, the, all in all, I think this is a great kit to get kids interested in building DIY kits, STEM type projects, and ham radio along with Morse code. It's a fun little kit for anyone. So I definitely suggest the kit. Again, it's alicorn.com and it's the Morse code and telegraph kit. Now I got this kit from gigaparts.com. I bought one of their $50 mystery boxes and it came in the box. So I thought I'd put it together, make a video and show you how fun it can be. Highly recommended. Check it out. I hope you enjoyed the video. 73 everyone. Rip and Paul out.